Mm, I like the look of this. This is the main menu for the game that I'm working on and it's got a name now, Boost and Betrayal. So thanks to Synapse for suggesting this name and I think this is it. It's catchy and I think it goes with the game. And I also made this film noir like menu in a flash of inspiration after I got that name and I think it looks pretty cool. Here is the state of the gameplay as of now. The game is set in Prohibition era USA and the player is part of a mafia family involved in the import and sales of hard liquor and is being betrayed by one of his buddies and will be out for revenge to avenge the death of his best friend. This week I've been mostly working on the gameplay mechanics, specifically the behavior of the cops and generally just making them a lot more dangerous. First of all, the cops are not killing each other anymore even though I thought it would be cool to have them shoot each other. I figured for the gameplay as a whole it's a better design decision to just leave that out. So now they simply just shoot through or past each other and this makes them a whole lot more dangerous especially when they come in packs. So if you have a posse of cops coming for you, you better make a run for it. I need to find a balance here. This is the first level, but I still want the beginning to be kind of dangerous. This is in fact an ambush and the police are coming for the player and he's alone. So this should be a dangerous and critical moment. And the whole point of level one is really just to get out and away from the warehouse, escaping to safety. Also, the cops can now shoot down from platforms and this opens up for a more challenging level design. Before the cops were all really placed in a one dimensional line and now I can have cops high up and they will shoot down at you so they're coming at you from all kinds of directions. And this makes for more multi dimensional gameplay that is if you consider two dimensions as technically multi dimensional. Another little tweak that I've added is a random time delay from the cops detect the player until they initiate the shooting animation. The effect of this is that it will be harder to time the jumping to dodge the shots, especially when there are several cops, because their firing will be staggered and they won't all be firing at the exact same time, and this will make it harder to just jump through a pack of cops. I think I will still keep it so that the player can only shoot forwards and straight ahead. The cops are still pretty easy at least individually and I think that will be good and also it makes for simple gameplay and I don't want to overcomplicate things. So going forward I have now about two weeks left until my planned release date. I want to have at least three levels. So this level, the end game level or boss level and then one or two filler levels in between. This will be a relatively short game and that's alright. But I do think I will need to speed up my productivity for the next two weeks. Sometimes I get into a slight motivational bump and I guess that's natural. But things do pick up and I think I'm ready now to power through until February the 4th which is my planned release date. I want to say thanks to those who take their time to comment and engage on my channel. Especially I want to thank Synapse for the name suggestion, that's really great so thank you very much for that. I do immensely enjoy the feedback and engagement from you guys and as I've said before, as a symbolic gesture I will give away the game for free to all those who take their time to comment on any of the videos for this project as long as it's in development. And finally, I would like to mention another YouTube channel from Nocturnal Wisp who's making a survival game called Pale based on the TV series Snowpiercer. So his channel is Nocturnal Wisp and I encourage you to go and check out his devlogs, they are pretty cool. This devlog was one day late due to some unexpected socializing yesterday evening which I do think I needed on a personal level. But next devlog is planned for Sunday and hopefully I will have something to show for by then. And until then take care, have a great rest of the week and weekend and I hope you will check in on my next devlog.